go. And rock and roll. Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of the Majestic Bean Channel, where we make coffee simple again. Let's do it again. Sorry, just ruined everything. Sorry. Excuse me, I'm trying to do my job on you. In today's episode, we'll be frothing some salt and we'll be frothing some milk, just like the barista professionals. What we'll need to froth delicious milk is jugs, a thermometer, a cloth, some milk, detergent, and some water. So pretty easy. I know the detergent part is strange, but uh, we'll see what it's all about. Alrighty, let's get into it. The first thing we need to do when steaming milk is fill up the jug with milk. A very common mistake that people do is they either put too little or too much milk into the jug. The right amount of milk to put is just enough to cover the bottom of the spout, which is around here. Anything over that or under that is not correct and will result in bad milk. The two most important elements when it comes to steaming milk are aeration and the vortex effect. Aeration is the amount of air or steam we put into the milk to achieve a creamy consistency and the vortex effect is the spinning of the milk inside the jug which destroys all the large bubbles and leaves us with that creamy, milky texture that we are used to. In order to achieve enough aeration and the proper vortex effect, we need to position our jug properly against the steam wand. The easiest way to determine the position of the steam wand in the jug is to divide the top of our jug into a four-piece pie. We would put the steam wand in the top right or the top left corner of the jug and tilt it towards the left or the right depending on the position of the steam wand. A very good way to practice steaming milk at home without using up and wasting a lot of milk is to take a bit of soap or detergent and just tap water and fill up your jug as if you were filling it up with milk. After you've put water in the jug, you just add a drop of soap and leave it like that. Next, you turn on your steamer on the machine. With my machine over here, it's just an easy flick of the switch and I'm now waiting for the red light to come on. Another two very common mistakes that people do when they're frothing milk is putting too much air into the milk, resulting in a very frothy and bubbly milk, or too little air, resulting in a very thin and uh, very watery milk. The best way to not do that is to have the jug and the steam wand properly uh, aligned and put into the right place, like I explained. And also to put the right amount of air in order to get the best results when it comes to steaming milk, other than putting enough air in the milk and having the whirlpool effect, we also need to have the steam wand just above the surface level of the milk when we start steaming and then after two to three seconds submerge it and continue having the whirlpool effect until we're done. The perfect temperature to achieve for a nice and creamy milk is in the range between 60 to 65 degrees. This is where our thermometer comes into play because the thermometer will help us achieve that temperature. Yeah. 
Now, enough with the soapy water and let's try practicing with the real deal. We'll take our milk, fill up our jug just below the spout, put the thermometer inside the jug, press our steam button and wait for it to turn on. After the light has turned on, we position our spout and the steam wand in the correct position and we start frothing. Don't forget to take your cloth and wipe the steam wand nice and clean and purge with hot steam after that. And there it is, perfect milk at 60 degrees. Out of nowhere, I suddenly discovered a coffee cup over here and it's full with coffee. So, I can do this. go nice that's about it for today guys thank you very much for watching join us next time where we will be preparing some delicious milk based drinks such as cappuccinos flat whites lattes macchiatos frappuccinos frappuccinos and all that sort of stuff until then stay safe and we'll see you soon thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button while you're here, check out our social media for more coffee content.